In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a uh, photo booth template from the design shop inside DSLR Booth Professional. So um, we'll keep this short and sweet. Um, videos to cover uh, editing of assets and everything. We're not going to cover that in this uh, temp in this uh, particular video. So first thing we're going to do is uh, you'd make your purchase. You download your zip file. Um, I have my zip files here. I'm going to open it up and I'm actually going to go into the layouts directory in DSLR booth. And here I'll show you how to get there real quick. Um, we'll load up DSLR booth, go to images directory. That will actually bring up um, all of them. There's our layout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop my folder over here. This will extract out the uh, contents. And I'm going to go in here I'm going to open up the uh, Photoshop file. Use the elements file if you're using Photoshop Elements. I'm going to delete the watermark. I'm going to hide the photo spots like I normally would. And um, you'd make all your other manipulations. And then I'm actually going to come down here to the uh, background. I'm going to hold the control button and click on the samples layer. And it'll give me these marching ants. And then I am actually going to do a inverse. And then I'm going to add a layer mask. And now I have a knockout that allows me to overlay this over my photos. Next thing we need to do is to uh, save a new overlay.png file. Do that right here. And then we're done in Photoshop. So let's close that. So we have a new overlay.png. I'm going to. Uh, copy this, take it up a level, and I'm going to drop it in my layouts directory. I'm going to come into DSLR booth. I've actually created a 3-up portrait to match. Um, it's real simple, you just come in, you add your coordinates as you find them in the uh, coordinates.txt file. So I've already done that. I now need to do a hack though to make this work with the design shop. We use full bleed. Um, DSLR booth is elected to use a standard 1200 by 1800. We do not do that. So I like to use Notepad++. Um, you can use any uh, text editor of you, your liking. We need to come in, find paper size. We're going to change this to 1844. We're going to change the width to 1240. And we're going to save that. Uh, we're done in there. We'll come back and uh, we're going to restart DSLR booth. And it's going to be a little unhappy. It doesn't like what we've done so far. We're going to come in here and you can see that all our margins are correct now. And what we're going to do is we're going to browse. We're going to go to pictures, DSLR booth layouts, select our overlay, and there we have it. We now have photo booth templates from the PBO design shop inside DSLR booth. Uh, hopefully you got this. Play as many times you need to get it, and uh, thank you for uh, supporting us by buying our templates.